treatment of kidney failure depends on the underlying cause of the kidney disease and the stage of the disease. There are two main treatment options for kidney failure. We have dialysis and kidney transplant. We're going to go over those two options of treatments in today's video. So the first is dialysis and dialysis is a medical treatment that filters the blood, removes excess fluids and waste products, and it controls the electrolyte and acid base balance. Dialysis can be performed by using two methods. We have hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. So in hemodialysis, blood is removed from the body and it's circulated through a machine called a dialyzer, which filters the blood and returns it to the body. Hemodialysis is usually performed three times a week for three to four hours per session in a hospital or dialysis center. Peritoneal dialysis in this case, a catheter is inserted into the patient's abdomen and a dialysate solution is infused into the peritoneal cavity. The dialysate solution then absorbs excess fluid and waste products from the blood vessels in the peritoneal cavity. The fluid is then drained out of the patient's body and a fresh batch of dialysate is infused. And this process can either be done manually or through a machine. The other option for treatment of kidney failure is a kidney transplant. And in this procedure, a healthy kidney from a donor is transplanted into the patient's body. The new kidney will filter blood and remove excess wastes and fluid, and it replaces the function of the failed kidneys. This treatment option requires the patient to take immunosuppressive medication for the rest of their life to prevent the body from rejecting the new kidney. In addition to dialysis and kidney transplants, patients with kidney failure may also need to make lifestyle changes, such as following a low salt and low protein diet, restricting fluid intake and monitoring their blood pressure and blood glucose levels. They may also need to take medication to control their blood pressure, blood sugar levels and other symptoms relating to kidney failure. It's important for patients with kidney failure to receive proper medical care and follow-ups to manage their condition effectively and improve their quality of life. So we've made it to the end of the video. Leave a 100 emoji if you've made it to the end. If you have any questions about this process, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you found this video useful and thank you for watching.